In the last video, you saw how to register a bot with the Microsoft Bot Framework in Microsoft Azure, and then associate it with an Azure AD application. In this video, you're gonna see how to add a, a new bot to a Microsoft Teams app and activate it from the Teams client after installing it into Microsoft Teams. Now, the first version of our bot is gonna to respond to the message, mention me in a one-to-one -one chat conversation. And this response is gonna simply mention the user who started the conversation. So to implement this, let's go to our bot that we've created. So here in, under server and conversational bot, we have this conversational bot.ts file. I'm gonna go ahead and add the following method uh, to this class. So this method uh, that I just added contains a reference to two objects that I have not yet imported into the bot file. So you can see we have our message factory uh, being imported uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a reference to the top of the file for the text encoder, as well as for this uh, util uh, that is also part of the dependencies uh, for the default project. So notice here we also have this reference to the message factory. That's going to be coming from our bot builder. So what I'm going to do is just make this a little more readable here by separating all of these. onto separate lines like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the message, the message factory reference uh, as well. Now let's call our method when the bot receives a message, a message that's got the string mention me in it. So what I'm gonna do is come down to the constructor in our project or in our, our bot. I'm gonna look for the on message. So this is gonna get fired whenever there's a new message that's been received. And wherever we see this hello, let's replace this if statement here, or this, this entire statement that we have. And I'm gonna add this as an else statement. And so now we have, um, we're gonna first check to see if the text contains mention me, then we're gonna run our method. Otherwise, we're gonna check for hello, et cetera. Now, before we test this, let's go add a little bit more help here and make some more uh, changes, a couple more changes to our bot. Uh, registration. So I'm going to go back to the manifest and we're going to make a few changes here. We only want this bot to be available uh, inside the team or the personal scope. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, group chat scope. Um, and then in the commands, I'm going to add in a new command. And my new command is going to be the mention me. And what this is going to say is sends a message with at mention of the sender. Now let's go ahead and test our bot out. So I'm gonna come over here and do our ingrok serve to go ahead and build up the project. And one more thing uh, that we wanna make a change here. Remember I made a comment earlier that I'm using the licensed version of ingrok. So you can see that I'm getting uh, the uh, dynamic subdomain is showing up here for whenever I start the ingrok process. I'm gonna go over to my environment variable setting and I'm gonna use my subdomain uh, that I've already registered. Now my machine's already had, has the uh, license key, my license key for Ingrok um, already configured. So now when I just add in that subdomain, you'll see that it will use the subdomain that I've already reserved. And that's matching the same URL that I had in my bot registration. If you're using the free version of Ingrok, just remember you are gonna have to go in and modify uh, the messaging endpoint for your bot every time you restart Ingrok. Okay, so now our bot is running. So let's go to Teams and let's install our bot. So I'm gonna to go to Microsoft Teams. I'm going to then say, go to more apps and I'm gonna install, go say upload a custom app for me or my teams. I'm going to choose the package that was created when we started running our project. We can see there's a bot here. So I'm gonna add it to a team And I have a test team of 389, so I'll use that one. And I'll say set up the bot. So we can see the bot has already started talking to us. So here you can see conversational bot, learn more about teams, or this is our conversational bot. This is just the basic bot response that we get. So now let's try, let's go interact with our bot. So I'm gonna come over here into my personal scope for my bot. And I'm going to choose the conversational bot. 
And now it's asking, what can this bot do? And notice that it has two entries here because we added in the mention me. If I select mention me like this, uh, and I put this in the, in the string and then just hit enter, the bot's gonna find that mention me string and it's gonna figure out who sent it, which is me, I'm logged in as Megan, and it automatically sends the response right back uh, to Megan. So at this point, I've got a working bot that is responding when the bot is mentioned, as you can see here. Um, and in this demo, this is from a, uh, the personal scope. I can also go to the actual team where I installed this and I can mention that same bot. There's our conversation bot right there. He's asking, what can we do? So I can say you can do a mention me. So if I select mention me, now I'm in a team scope. And when I do the at mention of the bot, we can see the bot can respond uh, to the person that actually at mentioned it. So in this demo, you saw how to create and add a new bot to a Microsoft Teams app and interact with it from within the Microsoft Teams client.